as i am students today we are going to discuss uh, few of the organelles like uh, plastids and vacuoles and after uh, discussion of cell division this chapter will be finished means fundamental unit of life will be finished then uh, some exercise questions will be given to you people to solve and to learn okay we are going to start this uh, some organelle like uh, plastids first point here plastids are present plastids are present only in plant cell you know plastids are present only in plant cells you should know it is not found in animal cell second point there are two types of plastids two important types of plastids for for you people chromoplast that is also called colored plastids and leucoplasts that is also called white or colorless plastids so you should not have any problem according to your standard you should know two types of plastids chromoplast colored plastids and leucoplast white or colorless plastids in the third point plastids containing the pigment chlorophyll are known as chloroplast here you should know plastids which contain chlorophyll pigment plastids which contain chlorophyll pigments are known as chloroplasts there should not be any confusion here plastids which contain chlorophyll pigment are known as chloroplasts next point chloroplast also contain various yellow or orange pigments in addition to chlorophyll other pigments are also contained by this chloroplast leucoplasts are primarily organelles in which materials such as starch oil and protein granules are stored here uh, you should learn function of leucoplast it can store starch oil and protein granules here last point like the mitochondria plastids also have their own dna and ribosome it is a similarity between mitochondria and plastids plastids also contain dna and ribosome therefore questions uh, are asked excluding nucleus names cell organelles having their own dna so your answer should be chloroplast and mitochondria having their own dna it is the structure of uh, chloroplast again mito in the mitochondria you have seen double membrane structure here you can see double membrane it is the outer membrane and this one is the it is a outer membrane and this one is the inner membrane this uh, membranous uh, structure sac like structures are called thylakoids outer part that is called matrix and inner part that is called a stroma in the stroma these matrix are present it is a structure of this chloroplast in the next class when uh, we will uh, study about photosynthesis then uh, we will discuss in the stroma which light re light reaction or dark reaction takes place or in the uh, this thylakoid grana and stroma which type of uh, photosynthetic reaction takes place here but in class 9 we should know only this structure what is the structure of 
and this chloroplast okay now next next and last uh, is vacuoles you have seen in the cell some structure this type of a structure in case of animal and uh, in case of uh, plant large vacuoles are present that is about this vacuoles we should know what are the characteristic feature of these vacuoles <coughs> first point vacuoles are membrane bound non cytoplasmic sac sac means pocket like a structure that contain non living solid or liquid contents it contains non living solid or liquid contents next point vacuoles are of three types three important types of vacuoles you should know and what are the main characteristic feature of those vacuoles first is sap vacuoles sap you should know liquid like substance which is present inside the vacuole that is called sap food vacuoles in some of the organism when food enters in the body especially in case of unicellular organism like amoeba then it is uh, um, surrounded by a thin membranous structure then it is called food vacuole and next is contractile vacuole so we have sap vacuole food vacuole and contractile vacuole sap vacuoles the covering membrane of sap vacuole is called tonoplast suppose this one is the vacuole the this outermost structure it is called tonoplast the fluid content of the vacuole is called cell sap and inside this uh, fluid which is present that is called cell sap sap vacuoles store salt sugar amino acid protein etc it helps in maintaining turgidity and rigidity of the cell turgid condition suppose uh, when it is a bladder when when it is filled with air then air pressure acts upon the in wall of the bladder and it swells this condition is called turgid condition in the vacuole also due to presence of this sap or liquid like a structure it exerts pressure on the tonoplast and due to this it becomes turgid or swelled condition it is called turgidity and rigidity of the cell food vacuole food vacuoles formation occurs in many unicellular organism as uh, in case of amoeba contractile vacuole it take part in osmoregulation water balance and excretion removal of uh, waste substance from body then many of the organism this contractile vacuole function as osmoregulation and excretion now one important short uh, topic is there that is a uh, cell division we must have idea of this cell division and uh, here we are going to discuss about the cell division so you should know whenever uh, we talk about uh, division cell division whenever we talk about uh, division of any uh, physical object like guava when one guava is divided into two parts and distributed between two people each people get half of the guava 
बट वेन सेल डिवाइड वन सेल मेक टू और फोर सेल्स कंप्लीट टू और फोर सेल्स सी है सपोज दिस वन इज द सेल वेन इट डिवाइड वी गेट टू कंप्लीट सेल इन केस ऑफ माइटोसिस एंड फोर कंप्लीट सेल इन केस ऑफ म्यूसिस इन दिस वे वी कैन से हियर रैदर देन डिविजन मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेक्स प्लेस बट वाई इट इज कॉल्ड डिविजन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस तो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट दिस सेल डिविजन we must have elementary idea of two type of cell division one is called mitosis cell division another one is called meiosis cell division mitosis cell division and Meiosis cell division. Mitosis cell division. It takes place in somatic cells, body cells, due to which number of cells increase and growth takes place. And growth takes place. So here, from one cell, two cells are formed. Initially, these cells are very small. and then they get its uh, original shape the, this mitosis cell division it takes place in somatic cells body cells and here chromosome number is chromosome number remains same suppose uh, it is a cell of human being here 46 chromosome or 23 pairs of chromosomes are present when it divides daughter cell again having 46 or 23 chromosome therefore such type of division is also called equational division it is also called equational division chromosome number remains same in the daughter cells such division is called equational division it takes place in somatic cells and uh, growth takes place growth takes place in organisms and also whenever we have one after some time we see that that one fill due to this uh, division that is a mitosis division when number of cells increases and uh, we get to recover from that mm. this meiosis cell division it is divided into two parts first uh, when cell divides two cells are formed and here chromosome number is re reduced to half suppose 46 chromosome is present in parent cell and when it is divided then each daughter cell having 23 chromosomes here reduction of chromosomes takes place actually meiosis division take uh, completed in two phases meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 we are talking here about meiosis 1 meiosis 1 in meiosis 1 what happens parent cell divided into two cell and each cell having half number of chromosome therefore why it is a reductional division and here chromosome number remains same 
therefore why it is called equational division in the meiosis second phase meiosis 2 each cell again give rise two cells in this way four cells are formed and uh, this one is called meiosis 2 and you should know meiosis 2 is uh, like mitosis division and chromosome number remains same here 23 chromosomes are present after meiosis 2 again daughter cells will have 23 and 23 Here you should know why in case of meiosis chromosome number is reduced to half. So this uh, meiosis uh, division takes place in sex cells. Meiosis cell division takes place in sex cells or for gamete formation. For gamete formation. Gamete, you should know, gametes are also called sex cells. M male sex cell and female sex cell. Suppose, this one is the male sex cell, a sperm. And this one is the female sex cell, that is a ova. Okay. So, this sperm and ova formed by meiosis division and in this meiosis division chromosome number is reduced to half in first meiosis 1 it is a reductional division because chromosome number is reduced to half now this half 23 chromosome again divide and the daughter cell will give uh, get 23 chromosome it is equational division the meiosis 2 is equis equational division like mitosis and finally chromosome number is reduced to half the for human being 46 chromosomes are characteristic feature of human cell now sex cells having only half number of chromosomes this sperm having 23 chromosome and this ova having 23 chromosome when both of them fuse means fertilization takes place when male and female gamete fuse together it is called fertilization so this 23 chromosome and 23 chromosome now it has 46 chromosome and uh, it, this stage is called zygote zygote further divide into many cells and uh, a newborn baby is produced so here you should know why gametes having half number of chromosome because after fertilization zygote is formed and both of them fuse together the 23 chromosomes and 23 chromosomes fuse together to give 46 chromosome this uh, elementary idea you must uh, have therefore uh, you should know about cell division cell division it is of two types Mitosis cell division, meiosis cell division, mitosis cell division is somatic cells, it takes place in sex cells, it is equational division, it is a reductional division, growth takes place in the organism and it is a, in a gamete formation and after fertilization, uh, exact number of chromosomes which is essential for the species is obtained. Thanks.